Hey, it's uh, Raven Tactical here. Uh, hopefully this video works all right. Um, the mount got kind of loose. The sun, we've had pretty warm weather. Uh, kind of knocked by the mount around. Um, kind of bringing up something that's going ongoing right now with the Minnesota riots and police verdict, I guess. If you're not familiar with it, I'm not sure where you've been living, but in Minnesota or Minneapolis, there was a cop who was arresting a felon I believe it was like check fraud. What those guys getting arrested for? So he had him cuffed, cuffed, and on the ground, and then decided to put his knee into his neck. Why I don't know. And it's all on video, and you watch the guy die. People are screaming at the cop to get off the guy. The guy was trying to struggle to breathe, trying to do this. And the guy dies. You know. I mean, at what point do you sit there and go? Well, that's insane. Like, why would you do that? Why, you know, <laughs> you're going to sit there and watch someone die. That's essentially what happened, too. And I, I sat there and looked at it, like, from a perspective of going, what if that's my family? What if it's my son? And you know what? Let's say my son is in the wrong. My son committed check fraud, and you they came to arrest him, and he's... You know, complacent with being arrested. They, he's not resisting. He's not fighting. They put him to the ground. They handcuffed my son, and then they put a knee into his neck, and he's now choking to death or asphyxiating. I'm not gonna stand there and just let you kill my kid because you're too ignorant and stupid to do this. Now, I don't know what the cause is because if I interfere with equal violence or greater violence because they've escalated a situation and their laws for escalation is usually one side greater. Now, if I were to get involved and kick the cop off my kid, I'm going to jail also because now I've interfered with the police. Now I've interfered with law enforcement and now I'm going to be going to court. I mean, if it was my son, yes. I will throw my life for my kids and my family on that chopping block. For a random stranger, I don't know. I still think I can't believe there's not one person out there that did it. But I understand why. I think it's just ridiculous that this is the result of what you get in society now. Yeah. You know, where were the other officers going? Look, man, you gotta get off the guy or kick the guy off. You know, you know, you're acting like an idiot. Maybe you're, maybe you're in blackout mode and you don't know what you're doing, right? You know. But, you know, the other officers got fired. And I went, oh, you got fired? Okay. You know, people get fired for things like showing up late, uh, not being on time at work, uh, stealing from the company, um, being terrible customer service. Those get you fired. <laughs> no call, no shows are things that get you fired. Killing somebody intentionally on the job should be considered murder. And I'm not siding with all cops are bad. I'm not saying all cops are evil and all cops are wrong. I'm saying there's a level of things in the society where you're going to say, these are really bad. You need to make an example and go, look, this cop screwed up and is wrong. And you need to save face because it is becoming a war against us versus them. And they started this war. When they militarized the police and the police, not all of them, but the police started doing what we consider the military as us versus them. When you're in the military, you go out, it's you versus the enemy, and you, know, you want to limit civilians and casualties, right? You want to limit collateral damage. You don't view people as humans. You view yourself as the morally superior one, and that's how you do it. And everybody else is a target. So these criminals are targets, they're subhuman, subconsciously get that in your head, and that's how you're able to find a few things you can do. The police started doing the same thing, and that's really, really unfortunate. And I can't stand it. I think it's really wrong. I think the militarization of the police is part of the problem. I don't think cops need MRAPs. Your SWAT team maybe needs an MRAP, but the average cop, at least in law enforcement, does not need an MRAP to respond to things. 
Now what am I going to tell you about it? Like, what, what is it worth, right? I don't know. I don't know where you go from this. I think the rise of people getting mad. Everything in this country right now is the powder keg. Everything is there. You can't get hot, humid, you know, hot summer, right? Everything happens in the summer. Why? Because everybody's out. And people are always inside, but now everybody's out. Instigators, that, you know, all the people that are going to get fired up, they're ready to go. They're all ready to go. Everybody's sick of being at home. Everybody's sick of this quarantine thing. Everybody's sick and tired of all of this. And now you throw in things like an idiot cop killing people or idiot things like this. You know, now you're looking at unconstitutional laws and people killing you. It, it's going to blow. And it's going to blow at the really worst levels of things you're going to not like. It's going to blow up everywhere in every major city. And you're going to see things like this. And I'm not trying to sit there and make something light of it. But as, a, as somebody who wanted to go into law enforcement, I'm glad I did it. I, I just don't think I have the mentality to do it. You know, I, I think being from a combat vet to, to seeing this, it's like... It's a, you need to like take a step back and go, you know, you need to reevaluate how you do things. You can't be treating people like they are the enemy on everything. You know, I get it. If, you know, you're a cop and you have to go and do, you know, you have a live shoot, cool. But when you're detaining someone and you're arresting someone and you're using excessive force and you think it's nobody's watching or even this, you know, you don't need to choke someone out for this. They aren't a threat to you. They're handcuffed at this point on the ground. If you can't handle or you cannot control your suspect or your the felon that you're arresting at that point, you need to reevaluate what you do for a job. Um, as far as what I put out as this, just be prepared. I would seriously reconsider going anywhere where the big crowds are going to be. So if you're going to think that, you know, I'm going to go hang out at Summerfest, or I'm going to go hang out at these big festivals, even if they're open, I would avoid them. <laughs> this is giving me the summer that changes everything, and this is the year, excuse me, this is the watershed moment that changes everything you're going to do in life. You're going to look back at 2020 as the year that everything fell apart. Uh, anyways, it's Raven Tactical here. I'm signing off. I'm just frustrated with what's going on. Please be aware of what's going on and uh, take care.